Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel. Definitely appreciate you taking time out of your day to pay me a visit. It's October 1st. Uh, happy opening day to the hunters. Or at least I assume it's opening day. Um, I'm out on uh, Chichigan Lake and the boat ramp is absolutely packed. And uh, I assume it's opening day because I'm hearing gunshots like every one to two minutes. I'm sure we'll hear a few during this uh, intro, but... Um, yeah, should be a fun day. Just got a little club tournament tomorrow out here. And uh, we're gonna go see what we can find. All right, goodbye, Bitsy Bug Jig. That is not the smallmouth I was hoping to find at the bridge. Well, we only got that one pike off this bridge. I was really expecting to find a few smallmouth, but I think they're here. They're just not active yet, so we'll uh, we'll hit this later on in the day. I do want to go further up the river as well, but uh, there's just a few too many gunshots coming that way. So we're going to head out to the lakes and uh, see, uh, see if we can't find any warmer water. Ideally, I'd like to try to find some water in the 60s. Um, but also, general curiosity question for any hunters that might be uh, watching this. Um, I understand, like, the geese calls and the duck calls that I've been hearing. But there's a, a hunter or two that seems to be making some crow calls. Um, which I don't understand. I didn't think there was, like, a crow hunting season. Um, or if there is, I don't, I don't know. Anyway... Any reason why Hunter would be making a call of a, a crow, um, let me know. Well, it's going to try the shallow bay, but there seems to be a lot of activity out here. Hopefully it's a school smallmouth eating up some bait fish. We're going to find out. I don't think this is a school of bass. I think they should have something spooked should've. by now if this was a school of bass. We're going to go back to this uh, weed line. Yeah. <laughs> I'll uh I'll appreciate the effort. <laughs> Yeah, no joke. <laughs> it's funny, I rolled up to the boat ramp up there, and it's like, I, I've been here a few times over the summer, and it was never packed. And, like, there's a line of trailers going almost all the way out to the street. I was like, what the hell is going on? And then I heard all the gunshots, so it's, it must be opening weekend. I was down here just, and it was so foggy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, crazy.
that's a good fish. Oh, that was very solid. <laughs> That is a nice fish. Oh gosh. Wow. Look at that. Man, I would love to catch one of these tomorrow. That's probably four pounds. My scale doesn't work, but let's get a measurement on it. I'm guessing probably 19. Yeah, it's 18. It's a good fish. All right, thanks, buddy. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow. So that guy came on a, uh, this is a live target sunfish. I think it's a three inch. It's the smaller one, whatever the smaller model is. Um, I'm not throwing a frog because I've just seen a lot of small bluegill swimming around in here. And it seems that the swirls I'm seeing, it looks like they're chasing down bluegill. So that's kind of why I'm throwing this. I'm sure a frog would work. Um, I might still switch over to a frog later on, but we're going to keep throwing this and see, uh, see if we can't find any more. Seems like another good fish. Certainly not as nice as the last one, but that'll be a keeper. That yeah, maybe be a keeper. I think it would squeak. Okay. Well, I think. we're going to be done with this spot except I, I do want to see whether we can make it back into this little nook that's originally why I came over here It's not going to keep, but good sign. Man, got that guy right in the snout. That was an aggressive hit. Didn't seem all that big. It's kind of what I remember about this bay. It's had fish, but it didn't really have any sizable fish.
That's a fish. That feels like a pretty good one too. Sure has some head shakes like a bass. Oh no! Came off. Man, that was a good fish, whatever it was. Oh my God, that is a huge fish. Oh my God. Oh, please land this fish. Oh my god, I saw that entire thing clear the water. This has got to be like a five or six pound fish. I hope I'm not overreacting. Oh, that's a damn pike, that's why. <laughs> oh, no. I really, really thought this was a damn bass. Oh. I was convinced that was a bass. All right, well, I don't know, maybe that's mid 20s that's a good pike at least i just oh man i really thought that was a bass i i saw the head on it and i was convinced ugh. well let's see if the frog survived Must have landed right on top of his head. Well, that's a large mouth. That's a good fish. It's a keeper. It's funny, I was casting of that bridge for how long now? I hit that spot. Must have just needed to come from the other side. Those bitsy bug jig, green pumpkin, 316th ounce. Well, that was a pike. Know that much. Well, we got a smallie. Not the right size, but it's fun nonetheless. Sorry about that. All right. All right, folks, uh, that's going to do it. Uh, it's almost 5 o'clock. Been out here a really long time. Um, kind of lost focus at the end of the day here and just decided to go upriver. Uh, that, I, eh, I, I guess I kind of lost focus. Uh, there's a lot of no-wake buoys up here. I thought the river was um, not no-wake. So uh, there's really no point in going as far up the river as I did because it's not something I'm going to do on tournament day. 
but um, I think I've got a somewhat okay plan for tomorrow. Um, we'll uh, we'll see though. Uh, anyway, thanks for uh, watching, and I'll uh, see you all next time.